today our topic is food side various food levels present in every ecosystem trophic level all organisms with similar feeding habits are grouped together to be known as trophic level trophic le level trophic level defines all organisms with the similar food habits are grouped together is known as a trophic level in the ecosystem energy is transformed from one trophic level to another trophic level that means t1 to t2 t2 to t3 in this way energy is transformed from one trophic level to another trophic level food chain defines plants are consumed by the consumers and after by the next level is called a food chain means food chain means trophic levels nothing but plants are consumed by the consumers consumers nothing but herbivores carnivores omnivores top carnivores after by the next level is called as food chain this food chain we have to observe the different types of organisms in different trophic levels and consumer levels also one see the table here in this table living organisms in the food chain trophic level member and consumer level in the living organisms are producers means plants and trees herbivores which animals are eaten plants grazing animals are known as herbivores nothing but grasshoppers rabbit like this then carnivores carnivores are depends upon the herbivores and producers for their nutrition then predators predators are depend upon the primary secondary consumers these are the having the trophic level those are producers are primary trophic level t1 herbivores are secondary trophic level with the prime primary consumer level why it is called as primary consumer level in this food chain producers are autotrophs only producers are autotrophs except of the producers except of the plants remaining all are depends upon the producers only so in the food chain producers do not having the any consumer level this producers given the food materials to the another animals and another living organism that's why this producers do not having the consumer level producers having only trophic level that is primary trophic level in the food chain then herbivores having the secondary trophic level and consumer first consumed the food material from the producers by herbivores only that's why these herbivores are primary consumer level consuming it first time by herbivores that's why these are the primary consumer level then carnivores carnivores occupy in the food chain tertiary trophic level in t3 carnivores depends upon the herbivores directly are indirectly from producers carnivores are in secondary consumer level predators occupy quaternary trophic level and tertiary consumer level this is the food chain living organisms and trophic levels along with the consumer levels one see the diagram here we clearly observed in this diagram before the topic before the table in this diagram we observed the producers these are the producers nothing but primary producers t1 t1 in position t1 means primary trophic level these are the autotrophs depends upon the plants grasshoppers and squirrels are occupy the place these are primary consumers these are herbivores then scorpion and etc animals are depends upon the grasshopper and squirrels these are secondary consumers 
then going to the tertiary consumers fox and eagle vulture those are the depends upon the secondary consumers though that's why these are known as tertiary consumers autotrophs given the food materials to the herbivores from the herbivores taken by the primary carnivores from the primary carnivores taken by secondary carnivores this is the trophic levels in the food chain producers nothing but plants or trees utilize the sunlight and prepare food through photosynthesis carnivores depends on producers and herbivores omnivores means man man occupies omnivores means along with the man omnivores also present man occupies several trophic levels in the food chain as he can consume plants and various types of animals also top carnivores these top carnivores also are not uh, eaten by others example example animals are lion tiger bear in this lion also has no fixed trophic level in the food chain 80 to 90% of energy is waste takes place at every trophic level as very little energy is absorbed at each level so not more than five trophic levels exist in any food chain that means in any food chain nothing but uh, in any food chain either grazing detritus parasitic food chain there is more than the not more than the five trophic levels in the food chain energy transfers efficiency differs at every trophic level in the food chain three types of food chains are absorbed in the nature those are the grazing food chain detritus food chain parasitic food chain we will learn the clear explanation of the these three types of food chain first uh, grazing food chain this type of food chain starts uh, from living green plants then goes to grazing herbivores and carnivores consumers depend upon green plants and trees for their nutrition called grazing food chain grazing food chain defines consumers depends upon green plants and trees for their nutrition this is known as grazing food chain in this grazing food chain solar energy plays an important role this food chain occurs in both the terrestrial and the aquatic ecosystem in this grazing food chain terrestrial food chain examples are already we known about the grazing food chain grazing food chain means consumers depends upon the green plants or trees for their nutrition as in this uh, examples terrestrial food chain means which food chain is uh, takes place on the earth region only in this examples grass plants are the producers from this grass plants food is uh, transferred to the insects from this frog snake vulture example number 2 grass plants insects birds vulture example number 3 grass plants rabbit fox wolf lion in overall this example we observed the first place is producers then primary consumers nothing but herbivores then secondary consumers nothing but carnivores tertiary consumers nothing but uh, omnivores quaternary in rare cases quaternary consumers are present those are the top carnivores this is terrestrial food chain then in this food chain aquatic ecosystem food chain also present in these examples are aquatic in aquatic regions different types of algae and different types of floating plants are present in the water from this aquatic algae zooplankton are given the food material from this zooplankton small fish then large fish man second example aquatic algae fish frog snake this is about the 
grazing food chain then going to the once uh, see the diagram here this is the wonderful picture of the grazing food chain in the terrestrial ecosystem in this grazing food chain these are the producers plants are producers from this food is transferred to the consumers like a grasshopper caterpillar then frogs eaten the caterpillar and grasshoppers then these frogs are eaten by the snake like consumers this snake is eaten by all vulture like this this is the it is grazing food chain in the terrestrial region then see the next diagram also this is also explains about the grazing food chain but in aquatic ecosystem in water ecosystem in this diagram this is phytoplankton phytoplankton means plants like structures or algae are formed in the water from this phytoplankton two planktons take in the food materials small fishes eat in the zoo planktons large fish eat in the small fishes then man received the food material from large fishes this is the aquatic grazing food chain then second food chain is detritus food chain before going to the detritus food chain we will discuss about the saprophytes saprophytes means bacteria depends on dead organic matter called the saprophytes bacteria form as a link between dead organic matter and living organisms called the detritus food chain detritus food chain means bacteria form as a link between the dead organic matter and living organisms okay then this detritus food chain is do not depend on direct solar energy the transfer of energy from dead organisms and reach the soil through bacteria later fungi then from the fungi energy is transferred to various animals this is the main feature of the ecosystem this detritus food chain is occurs similarly as grazing food chain in both the terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem also first one is terrestrial ecosystem in the terrestrial ecosystem energy and food is transfers from the dead organic matter to the fungi from fungi to squirrel squirrel to vulture this is the terrestrial ecosystem example number 1 next second example is dead organic matter from the earthworms on the soil from the earthworms frog is received from the frog snake is absorbed the food material eagle is eaten the snake for the nutrition this is the terrestrial ecosystem of the detritus food chain one see the picture here this is the terrestrial ecosystem of the detritus food chain this is the terrestrial ecosystem of the detritus food chain this is detritus dead organic matter from this dead organic matter primary detritus feed feeder nothing but it, it is earthworm from this earthworm food from this earthworm is eaten by secondary detritus feed feeder those are the snake eagle vulture squirrel etc then in aquatic ecosystem of the detritus food chain examples are dead organic matter from this food is received through the fungi or bacteria from the fungi or bacteria small fish from the small fish large fish from the large fish birds one see the diagram here in the aquatic ecosystem of the detritus food chain this is the detritus dead organic matter primary consumers dead organic matter is consumed by primary consumers then fishes secondary consumers then tertiary consumers
This is about the detritus food chain clear explanation. Then going to the last type of food chain that is parasitic food chain. In this food chain, food is transported from large to smaller organisms. Examples, trees to insects and birds. From the birds, parasites receives, receive. From the parasites, hyperparasites are receive the food materials. This is the parasitic food chain. Once uh, see the diagram here about the, this is the parasitic food chain. In this diagram, we clearly observe the food transported from the larger to smaller organisms. Producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, nothing but parasites, then hyperparasites. This is the parasitic food chain. This is clear explanation of the food chain and types along with the different types of ecosystem. Those are the aquatic ecosystem and terrestrial ecosystem along with the clear diagrams. Thank you for watching this video.